exterior balcony area. And then this, um, this printable that I printed a long time ago. So I can't tell you where that came from. I don't actually remember. So I'm adding these two pieces side by side. They're both, well, they I printed it on four by six paper, but they're not exactly four by six. And that navy gingham paper is Jelly Bean Soup Hello Healthy Soup, and it's the Bite Size Bits paper, the back of it. And then I'm combining some of my other favorite pieces of Jelly Bean Soup paper. I, I hadn't used any Jelly Bean Soup for quite a while, and I love this collection, this navy pink, yellow, and um, green collection. And it's perfectly summery, so I thought it would be great. So the piece under the aqua kind of piece under the gingham uh, paper there is jelly bean soup fresh vegetable soup it's the crushed ginger as um, paper and then that green there is jelly bean soup as well but it's a scrap so i don't know what it is this paper is kind of what started all the colors and me choosing all the other papers it's this gorgeous floral that i absolutely love from jelly bean soup hello healthy soup and it's a uh, hint of hello is the uh, name of that. And because it's floral and when I have designs like this, if I don't back it, it always feels to me like the design is falling off the edge of the paper. So when I use it as a background, I tend to do what I'm doing now is put a border behind that. And that is um, the Basil Admiral cardstock. And then I'll ink it with my uh, Memento Dew Drop ink and gray flannel. And I love how these colors are going together. So it's really easy if you take a pattern paper with lots of color and then you just start pulling out um, other like faux solids because all of these are basically faux solid papers. They're um, more monochromatic and the paper's on top of the floral, but they're all pulling out colors that are in the actual floral. Now, one of the secrets is, is the aqua paper is actually um, aqua and it's a cream versus the white in the back but you know it doesn't really bother me and I'm not quite sure why because normally that would really bother me but on this particular layout it doesn't so I used it <laughs> I have I have not bought um, I don't even actually now that I think about it I don't think Jelly Bean Soup is even doing um, is doing papers anymore now that I think about it if you know um, definitely comment and let me know. So I have this um, piece here that says right now and then I'm kind of playing around with some um, of the, what do I want to say, some of the circles that are journaling spot circles. That's what the words I wanted to use. And then um, I'm using the um, other die cuts like these florals and that kind of stuff. And these are basically from the Jelly Bean Soup Hello Healthy Soup Pea Pod parts. That's where I'm getting these from. And I am looking in here, which is my other uh, Jelly Bean Soup. Um, it's, it's like where I keep the extra pieces. So I have one like for travel, I have one for white based and I have one for cream based. And I keep those in four by six photo holders from Michael's, the Recollections brand. So I'm kind of looking at distributing color here. They may not be exact, but I'm adding colors in that I don't have in the clusters. So like on the top there, I have a navy arrow. I have the aqua flower and then the pink butterfly. On the top right there, I have that kind of peachy and pink flower, a yellow butterfly and then the um, white journaling spot here. And so I'm just pulling, again, pulling colors out from that background paper and trying to make that all work. And I didn't have enough of, you know, like some of the colors like navy and that kind of stuff. So I just kind of made it work where I could. Tried not to put, um, like, I tried not to put a green piece on top of the green paper, that kind of a thing is all I'm really doing. But they all have the similarity that they have a circle journaling spot and then other pieces is basically what's going on here. And I'm getting these little tiny butterflies inked and all that. So I have done some journaling on the top 
spot and then I'll pr probably put a little bit more journaling on the white top right there and then that bottom pink bottom left just comments looking at this picture just makes me relax and makes me happy because uh, my favorite color is aqua so my apartment is decorated in aqua and like a navy blue and I had I've had these royal blue chairs for quite a while so it just made me happy that my balcony even carries out the theme um, a little bit here all right and then what I'll do is I'm I'm not really putting popping things up on this layout I, I often will do that and I certainly could have done it but I just didn't this time I think there's so much going on I didn't need to do it there's lots to look at here there's different textures and, and that kind of stuff as well too and then I found this green I did find this green arrow so I decided to add that in to bring in some more of the green into that bottom cluster there I was thinking about do I want to bring an arrow into the top right cluster there but decided not to do that and then I'm just kind of staggering where the clusters are so that like the two on the left side don't line up over each other so they're they're a triangle and the card which is kind of the big title there and the photo are in the middle of it so because I don't have it's basically paper layers here I'm going to make sure that I get some enamel dots on this and I'm going to do different colors of enamel dots which is kind of fun so the green ones there are from the doodlebug sprinkles fall assortment and um, also the birthday boy assortment I didn't have enough so that's the birthday boy assortment right there so I'm gonna grab another dot here and just kind of using one color one size and I just grabbed the green because there were only two pieces left and I thought well I can put that go to the birthday boy one I'm really leaning now towards using enamel dots all when I buy them to buy all the same color so that I don't have um, you know 25 different enamel dot packages with little scatterings of dots and not being able to find them and so that's what I'm really leaning towards doing so I'm trying to use up these packages that have multicolors. so then the yellow dots are the doodle book sprinkles birthday boy and then the um, pink are the eyelet outlet and brads ones and then I'm going to add in some aqua as well and those also will be eyelet outlet and brads and I did something here that I don't normally do I actually put four enamel dots to feature the main colors in the layout or some of the main colors I guess I don't have navy there I could have done that I used aqua instead of navy all right guys there's the still shot a couple of still shots hope you all well